Brad Hulselbus here, chiropractor, with another edition of Ask the Chiropractor. Ask the Chiropractor is our podcast where people come on and ask us questions about chiropractic or chiropractic care. And uh, a lot of times, well, people will, before they start chiropractic care, before they consider chiropractic care, might go to their family physician and ask whether or not they should start chiropractic care or would chiropractic be a good choice for what's going on with my health. And I'm here to tell you that most family physicians have no idea what chiropractors do. And so they're kind of the wrong people to ask. The best person to ask is a chiropractor, and that's why we do this. So if people have questions about chiropractic and they send it to us, then I come on here every week and answer. Um, just like if you had a question about your teeth, you'd probably ask a dentist, not a podiatrist, okay? So let's get started with the question of the week. This was asked to us, um, it was emailed in to us. The question was, with the holidays coming up, and being around a lot of family traveling. Are there any tips that you, the chiropractor can give us to stay healthy and strong during the holidays? So let's talk about the holidays and let's talk about staying healthy and strong and overall what it means. Well, the first thing is I would tell you is that a trip to your chiropractor, getting under regular chiropractic care is a good idea. You see, there's three things that make your spine go up. Th thoughts, traumas, and toxins. And we have all three during the holidays. We have the stress of the holidays, which would be the thoughts. We have the toxins, which is all the, the extra sweets and candies and foods that we don't normally eat. And, and lastly, we have the trauma that's, that's usually involved in long car rides or airplane rides or, or just maybe you know, getting the table ready and stuff like that or doing the extra cooking and all that other stuff that adds up during the holidays. So they have all three reasons to come see the chiropractor to get yourself tuned up and get yourself spine aligned and get you ready for it. Another thing we talk about during the holidays that's very important is to make sure that we're keeping our sleep. It's very important to get your eight hours of sleep. That's when your body heals and repairs itself. So make sure that you're spending time to get your sleep and a break from everything. The next thing, I'll talk a little bit about some supplements and some other things to do. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of vitamin D3. If you're not outside half an hour a day, in the equivalent of a swimsuit, you're supposed to be taking vitamin D3, so make sure you're taking your vitamin D3. It's starting to get cold where we live up here in Northern Illinois, so less and less people are spending time outside. So vitamin D3, you know, about two to 3,000 units a day is great. Um, another thing I recommend everyone always does is fish oil. Fish oil helps keep our, our systemic inflammation down as we add more things that we eat during the holidays that we don't normally eat, we really want to keep an eye on our inflammation. If you start to feel sick, you start to feel under the weather, you want to do more vitamin C. Now my vitamin C would never come from a glass of orange juice. There's actually studies out there that show eating a Snickers bar is healthier than a glass of orange juice. There's even one study I read this weekend that a can of soda is healthier than a glass of orange juice just because of the massive amounts of unbound sugars. Um, so I'm not a big fan of orange juice or any kind of fruit juice. I just drink water. That's what I would drink. And I drink black coffee. Those are my two drinks. Anything else is too much sugar. Now when your body is dealing with sugar, it, it takes a toll on the immune system. It runs the immune system down. So if you're starting to feel down, you're starting to feel ill, you got to avoid sugars. And that includes the carbs. That includes all the breads and, the, and those things too. You want to avoid all the sugars and get your channel the chance to heal. Another thing, if you're making a lot of mucus up in your sinuses, we want to avoid dairy. Dairy tends to make mucus worse. Those are things I try to avoid. Another one I would tell you to take if you start to feel under the weather, or let's say you test positive for a certain uh, virus that's been around for since 2020, um, what I would do is I would take melatonin. Now, I wouldn't take melatonin the time you think I would take it. I would take it during the day. When President Trump tested positive for COVID, one of the things they did is they gave him melatonin. Uh, but they gave it to him during the day, not at night. Now at night, I'm not a fan of melatonin at night. Not at all, not whatsoever. Uh, but I, am a, I understand if you're sick, then you take melatonin during the day. Same with zinc, I would increase my zinc during the day if I wasn't feeling well. So if I start to feel run down, those are the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase my vitamin C. Where do I get my vitamin C? Colorful produce, every meal. You don't store vitamin C, so I'm gonna do colorful produce every meal. I'm not gonna drink my orange juice. I'm not gonna probably, most of the vitamin C tablets you guys all have, they usually have a high level of sugar in them. So that's part two, I wouldn't take any sugar. I would get down and get rid of all my fructose, uh, no fruit, no carbs, and no, uh, you know, no, nothing else with sugar in it. Um, just avoid the sugar altogether for a while, give yourself a chance to catch up. And again, like I said, melatonin. Melatonin's another thing I would take, but I only take it during the day, I would never take it at night. Um, but even though sleep support, you don't want to take melatonin at night because you become reliant on it. And melatonin, your serotonin levels are closely linked. And uh, when serotonin levels drop, 
serotonin levels go down, uh, the rate of cancer goes way up. And when serotonin levels go up, the rate of cancer goes way down. So we don't wanna be messing around with melatonin at night. We just wanna take it during the day when, we, when we're sick, when we're sick. And also increase my zinc when I'm sick. I wanna, I wanna just pound zinc all the time. I take a good daily vitamin, there's zinc in there. I think that's sufficient. Uh, and of course, the last thing I'll talk about your vitamin Bs. If you're not taking a good B complex or you don't have good vitamin Bs in your daily vitamin, change that. It's very, very important. Get your vitamin Bs up the level. And the last thing I would tell you to do too is try to find some time to exercise. Um, the minimum I would tell everybody is a 30 minute walk a day. And as it's getting colder out, find somewhere inside to walk if you have to. Um, I know that my wife was pregnant the first time around. It was freezing outside. Uh, my daughter was born in December. So we did as we walked around the local grocery store, then we did a lap around the sporting goods store, then we did a lap around the next door down the pet store, I think it was at the time. So we just went inside and walked around the inside of the stores um, as if we were shopping. Uh, leave your wallet in the car, that way you're not becoming a shopper because it gets to be kind of expensive. So leave your wallet in the car. But yeah, going for a good walk every day, 30 minute walk. Um, and the 30 minute walk is not, I've been on my feet for the last three hours. A 30 minute walk is what I just said it is, a 30 minute walk. You start walking, you hit start on your watch or your timer, and you walk for 30 minutes. It's, it's much different than just being on your feet all day. When you walk, you actually, the muscles contract, they pull the nutrients out of the joint spaces and let, and let so you pull the nutrients into the joint spaces while they pull the toxins out of the joint spaces. So walking is very important for the overall level of your health. So there's some little tips to help you get through the holidays, okay? If you have any questions about anything, let us know. Um, I'll be doing some more podcasts here in the near future on different supplements and different things that I've learned and studied about. Uh, first of all, ask the chiropractor. So if you have a question about chiropractic or chiropractic care and you want me to answer your question, leave a message below. Go to our website at rockforddc, R-O-C-K-F-O-R-D-D-C.com and leave us a message there. We'll see it. Other than that, I hope everyone stays healthy and enjoys the holidays and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.